Right guys, it's Coding Toads, and welcome back to a brand new video. And this super short tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this super cool effect that is known as Knockout Text. I have to say that that is a super fancy name for basically some text with a background image. Regardless, it's super easy to achieve, and with that being said, let the coding begin. And by the way, how many times did I say super in this intro? So as you can see, I have a blank page and in my HTML, I've only linked our CSS file and I've also included a super bold uh, font from fonts.google.com. Its name is Open Sans and the weight is 800. So you can go ahead and embed that as well. And uh, the more bold text you use, the better um, you will see the image basically, but that's common sense, you know? And then in my CSS, I've set the margin and the padding of the body to zero. And I've also set the font family to open sans, which is the font that I've included right here. All right, so now the first thing that uh, we want to do is write the text that we're going to be applying the effect to. And I'm just going to type a h1 tag and inside I'm going to write beach because you know me, I like my beaches. Um, and then as you can see, it is a super uh, bold font. Now in our CSS, I'm going to start styling it. And I want to say, first of all, margin zero, because I don't want there to be any space on the bottom and the top. Uh, I want to align it in the center. So text align center, and I want to make it super huge. So I'm going to say font size 400, uh, 400 pixels. And then let's hit save and refresh. And as you can see, it is super big, which is perfect. Um, now the next step is to set the background image and we do that by saying background image and then if you have um, uh, An image that is in your folder, you know, you put the path to your image right here But I'm going to actually copy this image right here from unsplash.com. It's a super cool website that um, Offer really cool images that are copyright free. So go ahead and check them out um, I'm going to copy the image address and paste it in. Now let's hit refresh. And as you can see, currently the image uh, sort of takes the whole the width of the whole page, but I want to limit that only to the text because what's behind this text right now is what's going to be on it when we apply the effect. So I'm going to say display inline block. But now, as you can see, the image is not, uh, or actually the text is not in the center. So I'm going to copy this attribute from the H1 and paste it in the body. And I would suggest that if you want to center your text as well, make sure that it's wrapped in some sort of div and apply text align center to that wrapper div. Now, when we refresh, it is back in the center. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to set background repeat to no repeat just in case and background size to cover although this image is uh, big enough so it does cover the actual text and yeah um i want to say background position is center because i want i want the ocean to be visible and currently it's not so background position center and there we go now the text will also show a bit of the ocean um, now we have to set the color of the text to transparent. So, you know, it's invisible. Um, there we go. But now as you can see, pretty much we just have a basic image, which is absolutely stupid because we wouldn't want that. But, uh, the next attribute and the final attribute that we're going to set is background clip. And we're going to set it to text. Now, if we actually refresh, nothing will change. And that's because we need to add a um, WebKit prefix to it. So I'm gonna copy it and add a WebKit prefix. And essentially this attribute only applies to WebKit browsers, but um, I know for sure that it works in Firefox, Safari, and Chrome. Um, I'm not sure if it works on Microsoft Edge or Opera or even Internet, Internet Explorer, but honestly, who use who uses those browsers not me at least um, but yeah when you save this and refresh as you can see we have achieved our desired effect so that's it for this super short tutorial i hope you guys enjoy it if you did make sure to like and subscribe and please comment down below on what i should do next because i am running out of ideas 
Anyway, that's been it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.